Now let's talk about how you can write on a downloaded PDF on your MacBook. Let's get started. So it kind of depends on what exactly you mean by writing. So you can type using your keyboard, but you can also write with your finger as like a, you know, a paintbrush. So there are both options available. The easy approach is kind of about just locating that PDF file in your finder folder. Then you need to click on or select it by clicking on it and then press the spacebar to get the preview activated. And once you do, you can then click on the edit button, which is above that file in that little tab bar at the top. It is a pencil in a circle, which represents the editing. And when you click on it, the editing tools, which pop up, can be used to write on that PDF. So if you just grab a pencil or you know, get like a brush, you can write on it with your finger like that. It's pretty simple. Or you can use the text tool, which if you click, there is going to be a text field which appears on the screen. You can drag it around and of course, add your own text in there. So this is pretty simple. No third party software required. But the downside is that, of course, it's kind of simple and it's not that advanced. If you would like to get more out of your PDF, then you will need to use a third-party software for it. I keep mentioning that I like to use Adobe Acrobat, but there are some third-party PDF editors as well outside of this option. So plenty of them to pick from. You can even find them on the App Store or just get them from the internet. And using such app, you can import your PDF. And again, similarly, you have so many different editing tools, but now it's a bit more professional. Right. So, for instance, the writing or the text tool allows you to edit existing text and continue with the same font and add some stuff in there or, you know, customize it in a much deeper level. So, as I say, it's not like the only option, but this one works well for me. So that's why I just keep on recommending it. Anyways, that's it. I honestly hope that I can help you with this issue. Hit the thumbs up if it helped you out and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'm going to catch you in the future video.